Hey violins, I think I already mentioned in the other video uh, that G major is a lot more friendly for your first three octave scale. So if you haven't done three octave scales before, then I would actually start with this video instead of the other one, um, the G major. Okay, so we're gonna start with the first octave and then go on to our second octave. And then that top octave has it in half notes, right? So let's start with just looking at the first octave. You go from open G to third finger on the D string. This should be pretty straightforward. Um, you learned that in like fifth or sixth grade. So let's just try playing just that first octave and it's gonna count it off for you. Ready, play. G, A, B. All right, and then we're gonna take a look at the second octave. Again, this should be pretty easy. We're just playing um, the first four notes and then we'll go up into third position, one, two, high three, four on the D string. All right, here, or sorry, on the A string. <laughs> here we go. One, two, ready, play. Now, I'm guessing not everybody was super in tune on this shift. So if you need to take a second, you can pause the video and really practice that shift into third position. Um, or just go ahead with us and we'll try it again. Here is that second octave. One, two, ready, play. Shift. And remember that three up there at the top, the F sharp is gonna be a high three. So be careful of that. All right, so you saw that when we went to the second octave, we repeated the G. The same thing's gonna happen here. We have a G and then we're gonna start with this top octave. We're gonna start on that G again, fourth finger in third position on the A string, right? So we have four, and then there's no dash, so we're not shifting. We go over to the E string, one, two, and then we're gonna shift in pos fifth position. One, two, three, four, and then you're just gonna reach your pinky for that top G, okay? This is just a half step, so you're just gonna reach the pinky up to get that top note. All right, and this is gonna be in half notes, so a little bit slower. So four across to the E string, one, two, up to fifth position, one, two, three, four, reach. All right, let's try it. One, two, oops, sorry, started the wrong measure. Here we go. All right. One, two, ready, play. G, one on the E string, Two, shift up fifth position. Three, four, and reach. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. Third position, find that fourth finger. Here we go. Four, straight across, one, Two, shift up fifth position. One, two, three, four, and reach. So if you keep going, it goes back down the scale. Um, you can do just two measures over and over again. Whatever you need to do to practice if you're using smart music. If you're playing off the PDF, you can either play along with this video um, or you can do your own thing. All right, so let's try, last thing, just going all the way up the scale. Remember, it's gonna start in quarter notes and then go into half notes in the top octave. And the Ds at the octave right here are gonna repeat. All right, let's try it. Ready, play. Second octave. Shift up third position, one, two, high, three, four. Stay on that four, 
Across, one on the E string, two up to fifth position, one, two, three, four, and reach. Nice job, guys. It, let me know how it goes if this is your first time trying a three octave scale. Uh, if you want to send me a video or you want some one-on-one -on -one time, just um, shoot me an email, guys. Or you can even just post your video onto this um, Google Classroom assignment and I'll see it and I can watch it and give you some feedback. Uh, if you're having trouble reaching that little uh, top G, the reach right there at the end, then make sure you're pulling your elbow under the violin to really give yourself enough room to get your hand up there. And uh, make sure also you don't have a collapsed wrist like that. Make sure it's nice and straight um, to hold the, the violin up. Okay, hope you have a good week and I will talk to you later.